living, living, just enough, oh, living, just for the city. Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to New Jack City. Today, we're going to be talking about famous decks and a woman, a, I ain't going to call her, she's not a woman, we're going to call her a lady, a lady called Amber's Violets. Just Amber. She's based out here in LA. And a lot of things happen regarding her. So, first thing that happened, let me just go ahead and read this off real quick. Now, I stumbled upon this news. This isn't headlining news right now because Famous Dex is going through some stuff. So, you know, I'm going to be. I'm going to be very transparent and very, I'm going to use my words very lightly before I actually touch upon him <clears throat> or I speak up on his topic. But having that being said, I was on Instagram a couple nights ago, I think it was two nights ago, and I was just scrolling through and I follow a girl that follows her, that spoke upon her, and I was, actually I went on her page and I started doing my own investigation and looking up what's going on, right? And basically, this girl named Amber Violet was in, I want to say maybe in an entanglement, not a not a relationship, definitely not. And I don't even think it was a situation ship. I want to say it was an entanglement. So, you know, they were just probably fucking and hanging out and that's about it because that's what I'm assuming. Just off of the things that I'm looking at. Now, when this was going on, I didn't screenshot everything, which I wish I did because it's no longer on there, but it's fine because I'm just going to go off of the things that I remember and off of this. But she said that Famous Dex put her hands, put his hands on her. This is what I had screenshotted. You see a bruised up face and it's going to be on the thumbnail so you'll see what's going on. You see the kind of, not a bruised up face, but you know, she's got kind of like blood a little bit, little scratches, busted lip a little bit. And she wrote, and you want, and you want to put your hands on me for no reason. Bipolar ass man. Her friend uh, said last night at Famous Dex beat my friend while he tried to strangle her. This is not okay. Please spread this and make sure to stay away from him. Now. This is what I'm going to say. <clears throat> I'm giving two people L's today. Okay? First, I'm going to probably say, yeah, I believe her. Because I saw the text messages that she had screenshotted regarding Famous Dex. She's showing proof that she actually did get hurt. And... Yeah. And we all know what's going on with Famous Dex about his his drug his drug uh, abusive uh, abusive addiction that he's got going on. So this bipolar thing, I don't even think it's bipolar. I think it's maybe because of the drugs that he's been going that he's been using, and maybe he relapsed. Having that being said. I'm going to have to, we're going to have to pray for Famous Dex and hopefully he can get on board and get some, and get some serious help that he needs because now you beating up girls. I mean, now you beating girls. That ain't cool. Definitely white girls at that. And you're a black man. Super not cool. Now, great thing about it is she was cloud chasing, but if she actually took this shit seriously, Dex, this would this trust me, this would definitely not be good for you, bro. But having that being said, I've seen her before. I've seen her at a couple parties. I know I know what she's about. But I'm not trying to I'm not you know being in famous Dex's favor. I'm actually in her favor, but I'm just saying I know what she's about. Having that being said though, I'm gonna give her the L2 because instead of because this is what I did read, because I'm thinking, okay. She's sending all these screenshots. She's doing the screenshots. She's showing uh, the, the the screenshots of 
or she's taking pictures, she's doing screenshots of famous ex saying this and that to her. I know her police report's gonna be in one of these stories, right? It has to be, because this is serious. This is what she said. And yes, I will be filing a police report in the next coming days. So, you went on social media to tell people to stay away from this person without actually filing a police report first. And you want us to believe that you are the victim. Here's my thing. Again, I'm going to use my words lightly. I'm going to tread very lightly. She is a victim because she did get up, she did get hurt. But is she a full victim to where she got hurt to where okay, I can sympathize with her all the way? I can't. Because if you're going out of your way to do to show pictures, tell your friends, do all this other stuff and you don't and you talking about you're going to file a police report in the next coming days what the fuck why would you do that as soon as that shit happens and you are and you are out of his facility um his perimeter you're supposed to go right to the police and you say hey i want to file a police report on famous dex blah 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 his real name and you do what you got to do and the funny part about it is i've been looking at her story i have not seen a police report come yet so what did you do this for that's the next question. What did you do it for? Did you do it because you were trying to what you were trying to gain some clout? Did you do it because you wanted What did you do it for? I'm not understanding that. And this is my problem when it just comes to just modern day women. It seems like you guys have an agenda to just throw black men under the bus. Y'all want to paint us as the sexual assaulters, abusers and all these things. And when it comes to the needy greedy of it, it's like y'all don't do y'all due diligence to back your claims. If we are so much atrocious monsters and doing all this stuff to you, you should have paperwork to where to, you should have so like it should be it should be to a point where it's like you getting so much the police the police department is getting so much paperwork that they're actually going to have to make a law for all these sexual abusers and assaulters and stuff like that, that to what you're saying that we are. Because you keep on saying, people, I mean, women keep saying in, of every race, espe um, especially um, regarding our race, We our race keeps us in jail. We keep being assaulters, sexual abusers, um, toxic, uh, toxic ma uh, masculinity, all this other stuff. I don't understand it. I just don't. And I just feel like, and you know, I mean, I feel sorry for her, but I feel sorry for him at the same time too. I feel sorry for him in different reasons as I hope he gets his, uh, his drugs abuse, um, taken care of. I feel sorry for her that she had to go through that stuff, but it makes me angry that instead of filing a police report immediately, you went to social media. Why do that? At least follow the police report and then do go there. I can understand that. And spreading awareness of you don't want these women to um, also get hurt by him. Okay, I can get that. But show a police report too. That's all I'm going to say. But how do y'all feel about it? Leave in the comment section. Give this video a big thumbs up. And please subscribe to the channel. All right? I'll see y'all next time. All right. Living, living just enough. Just for the city, living, 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 just enough.